Hello everyone, this is Karen and thank you for joining me on this uh, gift card uh, walkthrough. So in this video we will learn how to make uh, or how I made the uh, gift card that uh, you've seen uh, in the beginning of the video. And uh, I apologize if the colors seem strange but I'm trying um, other settings for my camera while I wait for my white light to come in. So yeah. Forgive me about that. The materials you'll need uh, to make this gift card are, of course, paper. This is uh, um, a pre-made uh, uh, paper I bought uh, at the local art store. So this is the card itself and the letter, I guess. I know you can actually fold and make this uh, at home if you know how to do it, but uh, yeah, they were che cheap, like uh, 50 cents each, so I I had no reason to make my own uh, when they cost so little. Uh, 50 euro cents, not uh, 50 dollars. 50 cents, oh my god, well, you get the idea. Alright, then you will need uh, some thick paper and uh, I will explain later why I like it thick for yeah this is for the actual drawing on the card. Then uh, you will need uh, either a stamp. These are um, from Sweet Dixie. I found this on Amazon for about uh, fourteen dollars and fourteen euros. Sorry. And I wanted to try them because I've seen a lot of stuff be done with stamps and I really like it so I thought uh, that I could try them. But since I will only be using the, uh, the baby boy stamp, uh, you actually need only like <laughs> good, good writing skills, which I don't have. So I'm going to use this one and... Uh, the clear pad to to use this so you don't uh, dirty your hands. Okay, this one here. And uh, what colors? For this project, I'm using my Shin Han Professionals, and then of course water, paper, and uh, all right, brushes, whatever you need to do a watercolor piece. All right, let me set everything up and then we can start. Okay, so first thing first, you want to pick your paper and uh, I've already done my my square, which uh, um, is actually, okay, you need a ruler, yes. Okay. You need to measure the edges of your of your card, and uh, I've taken off one centimeter from each uh, from each border. So when I um, when I glue my my watercolor piece to uh, the card, it's going to show a little bit of blue because I really like that. And, oh my god, this was folded wrong. I hate when things are not. <coughs> Now it's still folded wrong, all right. Okay, so the square is about uh, one centimeter off uh, each, uh, each size. And uh, the reason why I chose uh, thick paper is, and I can do a quick demonstration about that, you can actually achieve the ripped effect uh, even with, uh, um, when I talk about thick paper, this one is, uh, um, 640 GSM. No, this is a uh, just a 600. Sorry. Anyway, this is the thickest, thickest, <laughs> all right, paper you can find for watercolors. And uh, I use this because you can achieve the ripped effect even with the ruler, so I can get straighter edges uh, for um, for my drawing. And uh, you can. Uh, 
you can achieve the same with the uh, 300 GSM uh, paper but you would need to use your hands so the line would be well if you're talented I guess you can get a straight line even when ripping it but I'm not so I need to use a ruler because I like my line straight but uh, basically the idea is uh, okay here you have uh, or three papers, so this one is a 50 GSM, this one is a 300 and this one is the one I'm currently using for my project. So when I use my ruler to uh, rip the paper up, you can see that this ripping effect is not really that, that pronounced. Of course I would never use watercolors on such a thin paper, but you get the idea. Then uh, you have this one, and uh, uh, yeah, I would really need to tip it down, but okay, so this is how it looks. You can see that you get some kind of ripping effect on the other side, but you have the line from the ruler, and uh, this one here is uh, is almost surgical. It's uh, well, not something I'd like for a booming, for a ripping effect. And then you have this one that you kind of have to tear apart really, really hard. <sighs> okay, so. On one side you still get uh, uh, this straight line, but on the other side, and this is the trick, you can still see the line, but there's a nice rip here, and uh, you just need to flip it. So, which is why, <coughs> I apologize, I'm still half sick. I will be ripping on this side because I can see the lines, but I will be drawing on the other side. So let's do this real quick. I will sped up uh, the process afterwards because it would be long. I really really need a trash can for my room because I don't have one and I always have to go to the kitchen to throw things away. So this is the effect you're going to get. You can still see a bit of the pencil line and uh, where the ruler actually sat. So here we go. You have the nice bloom see <laughs> oh my god i always say bloom it's not bloom it's ripped oh my god well you get the idea so here you would have the card and here would sit the paper all right let me sketch this up and then we can paint it
you. So this has the time. This has had the time to dry. So I will be lining it. And uh, while I'm doing the lines, I will also share all the mistakes I made. So will not you will not do the same. Okay, first mistake was to try and use a normal eraser on this paper which caused, uh, well, I did manage to cover this up with the color but not this one on his face so he's looking like a really old, old baby but I hope she will not notice and she will, well, no, she will notice but she will appreciate it anyway also, I have been trying to do some practice for the stamps and I've realized that no, stamps do not work with uh, watercolors, which was something I was not expecting, but uh, it does make kind of sense because uh, um, yeah, the stamps are plastic and watercolors do not behave that well with plastic and uh, so they just uh, they just ended up in the grooves uh, of the stamp uh, and not actually on the uh, on the raised part which are the ones supposed to you know do the stamping and so on so yeah i wasn't <laughs> exactly all that happy about that but the nice thing about not being able to use a stamp for that is that I will be forced to use um, the calligraphy set I just bought. So, yeah, everybody wins. But, uh, and, uh, yeah, so I will be making, like, a, a flash review of this calligraphy set that I purchased at Tiger which is the place where I bought the uh, watercolors I made uh, um, a review of and I've also found that they have uh, tube watercolors so I will, of course I bought, uh, I bought those as well because they were 3 euros for 12, uh, yeah, 12, 12 milliliter tubes so yeah, fucking cheap and uh, of course I just have to try cheap things seriously what's up with me but it was black friday and uh, um, i hadn't bought anything else so i was feeling well not a little bit depressed but i really wanted to buy something so yeah i did okay so here is our baby oh and also another mistake i made was to try and uh, paint the pacifier pacifier while the face was still white so of course this one is a bloom yep this one is definitely a bloom and I'm not mistaking it here but uh, yeah you know makes it more authentic makes it uh, vintage yes I will say vintage when I give this to her okay So let's do this as well. Then I will take out my ruler and do a lot of lines because I think it would make it more interesting. Of course, I'm probably just going to ruin it, but uh, hey, if you do not experiment, you do not find out things. So yeah, me experimenting is probably a good thing. Alright, so this thing is dirty, so let's clean it up to avoid another mistake, which are black lines where you do not want them. I'm an expert in that. I always mess up my eyeliner, I know how to mess up lines. Okay, so first thing first, let's start. Okay, this one is on front. <laughs> yes, not actual Italian accent here. But you will forgive me. Yeah. 
just just made another mistake but I am uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy that this uh, pen uh, like dries extra fast because if not I'll, yes one thing that you need to know is when you do a line and then instead of going down you go up you risk like spreading it with the plastic of the ruler which is something basic that everyone learns in primary school except for me no one explained it to me so I always messed up and I always had to repeat always repeat my exercises because I made messes everywhere but I still do it because I have the habit and yeah it's kind of hard to break well such is life all right so here we have our curtain kind of thing and this one is the set I was really really happy about uh, oh, wait let me move this up here a second okay so this one came sorry uh, all right cheap plastic this one was five euros and uh, okay plastic thing and then you have four ink cartridges and uh, you have four this is the pen this is the fourth and uh, uh, you have them uh, um, bigger and bigger and bigger this one is uh, uh, the normal writing one and uh, it has all right you can see it uh, I really miss this pointy things <laughs> well pointy it's more of a ball really which of course the flat ones do not have but I spent my elementary school writing in uh, uh, with stylographic pen and I really missed it so of course when I saw it was only five euros and uh, your usually uh, your usual uh, um, style of pen comes for about uh, the cheapest one I found was 10 euros and what no no way in hell I'm spending 10 euros just to be nostalgic but when I saw this complete set for five euros of course I had to pick it up because it was also Black Friday and I really wanted to buy something okay so I did a little bit of practice but I there's something that I do not do calligraphy yeah this is I don't know what this is but I was trying to do I don't know a welcome baby boy or something 